He was dubbed the Nashville Songwriters Association International's One to Watch, won TikTok Gamer's Greatest Talent Competition, earning him $25,000, and has over 80,000 monthly listeners on Spotify. Philip Bowen is taking social media by storm. He's a singer-songwriter, multi-instrumentalist, and plays one heck of a fiddle. Philip, I'm so glad you can join us here on Good Day at Four. I first saw you on TikTok with your rendition of Country Roads, which between Instagram <laughs> and TikTok has like 20 million views or something astronomical yeah. like that, right? Crazy. Yeah, thanks for having me. Hey, it's definitely past 20 million. It just has a life of its own now. It's crazy. Did you ever expect to see numbers <laughs> like that and people interested in just what you're doing right in this little space that you're uh, that you're in right now? Yeah, I mean, I it's it's exceeded all expectations. It's growing every day and it's just kind of a fun adventure to watch it become what it's become. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely having the most fun. So I'm just trying to enjoy the ride. And for folks who aren't familiar with what it is that you do, Philip, what is it that you do? Yeah, so I um, I started performing online uh, and it really took off, especially over COVID because I had to perform online. And so um, I write songs, uh, I play the fiddle slash violin and several other instruments. And then uh, you know, I do live shows several times a week and I go out in person and do shows. So it's kind of a mix of all those different things. And it uh, has just become really popular, especially social media has definitely helped. It's just gone crazy. And your story is really wonderful. You come from a musical family. Dad played mm -hmm. in the church, sister played piano, yep. and people really do get to know you through your music. In fact, in one song, you have a lyric that says, I play a violin made by hand in the 40s. But what's yeah. maybe a detail you were hesitant to share? Yeah, I, I think that when you start writing songs, you know, you, you kind of quickly learn that the, the more real it is for you, the better the song comes out. And so, I think maybe versus like one specific detail, like learning how to kind of share uh, your whole self in a way that's also relatable to the listener in a general way uh, that feels specific to them, <laughs> which, which sounds weird. Um, it makes it it makes it better. So when you when you write what's really impactful to you, it comes out um, the best for the listener. And so I just had to learn how to kind of open up and, and do that in a way that that made sense for the listener, but also was kind of speaking what I wanted to to convey. Is, is there one of those intimate lyrics maybe that you were like, oh, I don't know, but but you know that viewers appreciate the fact that you do that and share. Yeah, I think I think like when you talk about loss, for example, like I have a song called Anymore that's basically dedicated to my grandparents. And so I had to find a way to kind of tell the story of, of how I, you know, I lost, uh, I lost both of my grandmothers like within six months of each other after like knowing them, you know, my whole life in, in my 20s. And so I had to kind of find a way to talk about that, like those kind of like very specific like family personal memories but in a way that other people could relate to them what what would be just the where is the biggest place you see yourself playing or what's the the biggest <laughs> dream you have that you'd like to see happen uh, well a couple like i we're talking about any venue anywhere like of course i would love to play at the grand old opry like stand in the circle and play a song i also just because of my roots in west virginia i would love uh, at one point, and I think that's going to happen uh, to play Mountain Stage and, and do it there in Charleston. Just you know, home hometown, home state, uh, you know, legendary program. I would love to do that at some point in my life as well. But I would say the Grand Ole Opry is kind of the the, the the really the really big one. I would love to try to get to. What do you tell folks who aren't from West Virginia, or at least how would you describe just how supportive the state is and oh, the folks who live here? It's incredible. I mean, I've had so many people and I, I like literally countless number of people that will tell me like, oh, I stopped for the sign. Like they see that banner behind me. And these banners are made by a wonderful Charleston uh, based artist named the Hippie's Daughter. So I love to try to, you know, support West Virginia creators wherever I can. And or, I, or I'll wear a West Virginia themed hat and they'll tell me they stop for that and they stay for the music. Um, it's just been incredible. Like everybody from you know, the just people I know from back home and then anybody that has any kind of connection to West Virginia. And then as far as I've done stuff with the, the Board of Tourism in West Virginia, West Virginia University has been really incredible, uh, some of the people there. So um, I always tell people West Virginia definitely shows the most love. Like it's been an incredible uh, ride to kind of see the support that people in the state have have got behind me and just they just love to, you know, love like cheer you on, love to see you succeed. So it's been really special. 
So where can folks go for more information on your music and you, Philip? Yeah, so you can, uh, any social media platform, you know, whatever, Instagram, TikTok, uh, Philip Bowen Music. Um, and then uh, if you, however you listen to your music, Spotify, Apple, YouTube, whatever it is, I'm there. Just look for my name, Philip Bowen, and you can find me or just go to my website. PhilipBellMusic.com. Well, terrific. Philip, we are a fan of yours. I wish you all the well, best you. in in <laughs> the future for you. And uh, we yes. hope to see you soon on Mountain Stage. Absolutely. I'll, I will see you there for sure. And I appreciate you having me on. Thank you so much. All right, Philip. Thanks so much. Good luck. All right. See you all. Bye.